Andrew J. Taggart. Here we are in uh, Central Park and we've been strolling around talking about life. Uh, quite a focus on sustainability and what could bring us a bright and attractive future. Yes. And will it be enough to keep on the way we've been so far? Or do we need some kind of a shift in order to really get there? And we've been talking about the unity, being one with the different aspects of reality, inner and outer reality. Yes. In order to be really creative. We yeah, have been. And we've been thinking a, and talking a good deal about how it's not just, as you said, an engineering problem. It really is about an aesthetic and ethical attention or attunement to uh, the way things are, the fact that um, we're feeling the breeze and we're watching the butterflies and we're looking at the birds and it, it seems as if they're very much a part of our world yeah. and that they're having a fundamental bearing on how we're breathing and how we're walking through space and how you and I are talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Our voices are changing. The way your eyes are looking at me is changing. You're smiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why really, but... <laughs> and we were talking about love, weren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. And what were you thinking about love? That um, love is can be seen like a feeling mm -hmm. and also something that we cannot come into or fix ourselves. It's rather some uh, a matter of surrendering into love. Being wanting to be reached by love and taking over. And that is not something one can just do, but surrender to. Right. Letting love come into our situation where we are. And fear being the contraction that happens when, when we're not on our way to our potential, to that state that love can bring us to. And that, 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 that fear really is, in this way, is love as it tells us how we're not moving in the best of directions. There is something else we could do right now in order to get where we really want to. Right. So we better be more creative if we want to get there. And I think, and I think love, whatever it is, must also be about the silence because right now, we're taking our time. Mm -hmm. We're both okay with the fact that we don't have to be so scripted. And mm. fear seems to be about being scripted. Not only withdrawing from each other, but also feeling as if something... Um, I can't say something about myself. You can't say something about yourself. And we can't hold ourselves in silence wordlessly. Because in silence, it's also that we're brought back to what you were talking about, the unity. Yeah. Right? I don't feel as though I have to fill in the space between us. I'm not afraid to be around you. We can just breathe. And in not being afraid, we dare to go to a vulnerable space. where there's not a knowing where this moment will take us and whether it'll go up or down or whatever. But also not, not caring 
that much either, right? Because whichever way it goes, it'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. Interesting that if I don't have control and direction, uh, there will be uh, an interplay between us that will take us to the, to the next step in, in a creative way. Right. That does seem to be the basis of a, of a shift towards sustainability. And that shift shift has to be feeling as though um, we don't know the next answer, no. but we have the right questions. And we're not afraid that we don't have the answer ready to hand. Because in that moment, we're, we're surrendering, as you've said. We're surrendering, and perhaps on the way to love. So do we dare to stay in this silence, in this vulnerability, not having control till we find something that is a shift because both you and I don't really trust the way we are moving ahead in this moment. Extrapolating what we're doing, trying to, to uh, tinker or tweak or save some here and some there won't really make it because having the the desire of exponential growth which part of society is, is aiming for maybe it's not the best way no i think what we want to say instead is at least two things um, one is that in the meantime we need to relearn the virtue of courage mm -hmm. Because it's courage that's yep. going to get us through uncertain times. The cultivation of courage. Yep. Not courage in one moment, not courage in another moment, but courage as a basic orientation toward life. And the other thing we want to say, I think, is that we'll need to learn justice in terms of what we spoke about before, namely just enough, having just enough. Oh, yeah that um, whatever is my share is, is not too much and not too little and my share is not getting in the way of your share mm. out of fear, mm. right? Out of fear. So we have courage and we learn again what it means to have just enough. Yeah. And at least that's a start, isn't it? Yeah, and I think it's, it's, it's a safe space, if we can create that, right. that will bring forth so much more creativity mm. and such a shift in our identity. Because it, that's, that's needed because it's only our identity that we can express. Right. Either I see myself uh, as a coward or, or uh, having a lot of courage. And as soon as I see myself as having that courage, I will act accordingly and be aware when I am deviating from a courageous path. Right. And trust that in, in, in one level, we are one. There is this, we're, we're part of one subject. Mm. And trusting that, that even though we might have different objective opinions about stuff on one level we are one and I won't become really happy before you are really happy and we can share this because 
And it's true. And as you were saying that, there was a there was a butterfly flying <laughs> okay. over your head, right? <laughs> And it was just a little accent to the point that you were making. Ah, okay. That we are okay. all one, and that that things are coming into being yeah. all around us, and that, and that they're going out to being, and that we ourselves are, are going to perish. Hmm. Um, but even though you and I are going to to perish, doesn't mean that the world, sustainably so, would perish. Oh. 